Another day, another story. The US-Soviet space race had many notable successes, but some deadly catastrophes, too. After the Soviet Union launched Sputnik in 1957, the United States entered a fierce competition with their communist rivals for dominance in space. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. The ensuing space race was filled with many notable successes, including American astronauts walking and playing golf on the moon, but the era was not without its failures, including some deadly catastrophes. Apollo 1 1967. The first fatal accident in the history of U.S. spaceflight occurred on January 27, 1967, during preparations for the first manned mission of the Apollo space program. A flash fire broke out in the command module of Apollo 204 during a simulated launch at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida, killing astronauts Virgil, Gus, Grissom, Edward White and Roger Chaffee of asphyxiation. A stray spark started the fire in the pure oxygen environment inside the module, and design flaws in the hatch door made it impossible to open in time to save the astronauts. In the aftermath of the accident, NASA officially designated the mission as Apollo 1. Crew The crew of Apollo 1 consisted of three experienced astronauts. Virgil, Gus, Grissom, Command Pilot. Edward H. White II, Senior Pilot. Roger B. Chaffee, Pilot. The Accident the accident occurred during a plugs-out test at Launch Complex 34 at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The astronauts were inside the Apollo command module, which was mounted atop the Saturn IB rocket. During this test, the spacecraft was powered with pure oxygen at high pressure to simulate the conditions of space. A cabin fire broke out in the command module, and within seconds, the spacecraft was engulfed in flames. The crew, unable to open the inward opening hatch in the high-pressure oxygen environment, was tragically unable to escape. All three astronauts lost their lives in the fire. Cuz. The exact cause of the fire was determined to be electrical arcing in the pure oxygen environment, which ignited combustible materials inside the spacecraft. The investigation that followed revealed numerous safety flaws and issues, including flammable materials in the cabin, poor design of the cabin door, and inadequate escape provisions. Impact. The Apollo 1 fire had a profound impact on NASA and the Apollo program. It led to a suspension of manned Apollo missions while a thorough review and redesign of the spacecraft were undertaken. Numerous safety improvements were implemented to prevent a recurrence of such a disaster. The spacecraft's interior was redesigned to reduce flammable materials, and the hatch design was changed to open outward, allowing for a quicker escape in emergencies. The lessons learned from the Apollo 1 fire contributed to a safer space program overall. Although it was a tragic event, it played a significant role in improving the safety and reliability of NASA's spacecraft, ultimately leading to the successful lunar missions of the Apollo program. Soyuz 1 1967. Just three months after the Apollo 1 fire, Russian cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov became the first fatality in spaceflight when Soyuz 1, the first Soviet space vehicle aimed at eventually reaching the moon crashed into Earth on April 24, 1967. Soyuz 1 was still in the experimental stage at the time of the mission, and problems began almost immediately after it entered orbit, some nine minutes after launch. One of the solar panels failed to deploy, which cut the power supply and interfered with the spacecraft's controls. The mission was aborted, but after a difficult re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, the Soyuz 1 parachutes failed to deploy correctly and Komarov was unable to escape before the spacecraft crashed violently to the ground in southeastern Russia. Mission and Crew Soyuz 1 was part of the Soviet Soyuz program and was intended to be the first mission to the new Soyuz spacecraft. The mission's primary objective was to test the spacecraft systems, docking procedures, and rendezvous techniques. The crew for Soyuz 1 consisted of a single cosmonaut, Vladimir Komarov, who was an experienced astronaut and the commander of the mission. The Accident the mission encountered a series of technical problems right from the start. During the spacecraft's launch, one of the solar panels failed to deploy, reducing the available power. As the mission progressed, more issues arose, including problems with the spacecraft's orientation control system and a failure of the automatic guidance system. The most critical problem occurred during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The parachute system failed to deploy correctly, and the spacecraft's descent module crash landed at high speed resulting in a catastrophic impact. Cosmonauts' heroic efforts. Despite the numerous technical failures and knowing the severity of the situation, Vladimir Komarov remained remarkably calm and composed during his final moments. He made a series of radio transmissions to ground control, describing the dire situation. 
he knew that he was unlikely to survive the crash due to the parachute failure. Impact The Soyuz 1 crash had a profound impact on the Soviet space program. It was a severe setback and a tragic loss of an experienced cosmonaut. The investigation into the accident revealed numerous technical issues and design flaws in the Soyuz spacecraft, which were subsequently addressed and improved in future missions. Vladimir Komarov's sacrifice and the lessons learned from the Soyuz 1 accident contributed to the ongoing development and safety of the Soyuz spacecraft, which has continued to be a reliable workhorse in human spaceflight, carrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station ISS, for decades. The Soyuz 1 accident remains a somber chapter in the history of space exploration, highlighting the risks and challenges faced by astronauts and cosmonauts in their quest to push the boundaries of space. Soyuz 11 1971 Eager to outstrip their counterparts in the U.S. space program after the success of the moon landings, the Russians launched the world's first space station, Salyut 1, in April 1971. That June, three cosmonauts aboard Soyuz 11 spent three weeks conducting experiments and observations at the space station, earning hero status back at home. Upon their return trip on June 30, the spacecraft made a normal re-entry and a perfect, automatic, landing. But when the ground team opened the hatch, they found all three cosmonauts unresponsive. A faulty air vent had opened when the orbital and descent modules of Soyuz 11 separated, and the cabin had depressurized. The cosmonauts, none of whom were wearing spacesuits, likely suffocated to death 30 minutes before landing. As a legacy of the Soyuz 11 disaster, the Soviet and U.S. space programs would pass requirements ensuring their cosmonauts and astronauts wear spacesuits during any phases of a mission where depressurization could possibly occur. Crew the crew of Soyuz 11 consisted of three experienced cosmonauts. Georgi Dobrovolsky, commander. Viktor Patsayev, research engineer. Viktor Kubasov, research engineer. Mission objective. The primary objective of the Soyuz 11 mission was to visit the world's first space station, Salyut 1. The mission was intended to conduct experiments, scientific research, and tests of the space station systems. The tragedy. On June 6, 1971, after spending 23 days aboard Salyut 1, the Soyuz 11 spacecraft undocked from the space station in preparation for its return to Earth. However, during the descent and re-entry phase, a cabin vent valve construction defect caused it to open prematurely, exposing the crew to the vacuum of space. The crew died within seconds due to the rapid depressurization of their spacecraft. Ground control was unaware of the tragedy until the Soyuz spacecraft was recovered on the ground. The cosmonauts' deaths were confirmed upon opening the descent module, where their bodies were found. Impact The loss of the Soyuz 11 crew was a devastating blow to the Soviet space program and a tragedy for the cosmonaut corps. It led to an immediate suspension of the Soyuz program and a thorough investigation into the cause of the accident. The investigation revealed the technical flaw in the cabin vent valve that led to the depressurization. Subsequent Soyuz missions incorporated design changes to prevent a similar tragedy from happening again. The Soyuz spacecraft underwent significant modifications to improve its safety and reliability. The Soyuz program continued after this tragedy, and the lessons learned from Soyuz 11 contributed to making the spacecraft one of the most reliable vehicles for human spaceflight. It has been used for decades to transport cosmonauts and astronauts to and from space stations, including the International Space Station ISS. The memory of the Soyuz 11 crew lives on in the history of space exploration, and their sacrifice played a role in enhancing the safety of future space missions. Challenger 1986 On the bitterly cold morning of January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart 73 seconds after its launch from Cape Canaveral, crashing into the Atlantic Ocean from an altitude of some 50,000 feet. All seven astronauts aboard were killed including Krista McAuliffe, a high school teacher who had been selected as part of a national, Teacher in Space, initiative. An investigation later found that NASA had known that extreme cold temperatures could result in damage to the spacecraft's rubber O-rings, which separated its rocket boosters and prevented fuel leaks, but elected to go ahead with the launch anyway, prompting widespread outrage and the temporary suspension of the space shuttle program. Columbia 2003 After a 16-day mission, the veteran space shuttle Columbia, which made the shuttle program's first flight in 1981, was re-entering the Earth's atmosphere ahead of a planned landing at Cape Canaveral when tragedy struck, the shuttle's orbiter broke into pieces, raining debris over eastern Texas and killing all seven astronauts aboard. A small piece of insulating foam had broken loose from a fuel tank during launch and pierced Columbia's left wing, 
but because the foam had detached during earlier shuttle launches without incident, NASA officials didn't think it was a problem. Upon re-entry, however, hot gases and smoke penetrated the damaged wing, causing it to break off and the rest of the shuttle to disintegrate. The Columbia disaster marked the beginning of the end of the U.S. space shuttle program. NASA would retire its last space shuttle in 2011. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.